Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft and our Retail Warrior playthrough. Today when I logged in, I had a big old pop-up prompting me to begin the Shadowlands quest, and after I closed that out without taking the quest, I got this pop-up, which I'll point out, you can't actually close out of without take- Oh, you can! You can hit escape. Whew. There we go. But look, we still actually have the quest. We didn't get out of accepting it. The game really doesn't want us to continue doing this content, even though we're not level 50 yet. Uh, but we're going to keep doing this content anyway. And I hope all of you guys are doing well today. And thank you for choosing to spend some of your time here in Azeroth with me. Let's see, we need feathered green whelplings, and I'm assuming we're going to fight some of these guys. Because that is what we do. We've been treated to some pretty good music in the last couple of zones. I've read all of your guys' responses and I put a little bit of thought into it and I'm pretty sure we're gonna go with a Forsaken Mage for our next retail playthrough after this one is done. That's kind of my current thought process. One of the zones that I do want to see on the Horde side that a couple of you guys have called out to me is going to be Desolus. I think there's some substantial changes there that occurred after the Cataclysm. And it should be cool to see. I think we're going to get some Scenarian Circle Druid stuff going on. Similar to the things that we saw in the Western Plaguelands. Alright, we have all of the Orcs that we need. We need a couple of more... Dragon whelps, and we need to find the bronze dragon. Well, dragon broodling. Uh, let's see, that's green. Oh, we've already got a green. There's blue. And this is bronze. There we go. Just a little bit of scouting from the air. Never hurts. I really need to figure out how to save the gold in this game to acquire one of the mounts that lets me alter my transmog while I'm out in the field. 
kind of hurts to look like a little bit of a clown for the entire playthrough, but unless you want to make constant trips back to the main cities, that's just what you're looking at. Not that I have a lot of cool transmog stuff. I probably have some have some decent looking stuff though that we could put together. I never really got big into collecting things just for transmog the way some people did with running older content and things like that. Wasn't really something that I was interested enough in to put that kind of time into. Although it probably doesn't take that much time to go solo an old raid or something like that, you know. But then you're dealing with drop rates and stuff like that. Alright, we are done. Let's get over here and turn these back in. Uh, let's take a look. Same as the previous zone, we only have four story chapters to progress through here. Stocking up, obtain five razor-sharp scorpid barbs. A future project, obtain eleven ember warg hides. Maybe he'll put on a shirt if we get him enough hides, who knows. And obtain nine piles of obsidian-flecked mud. Alright. Uh, let's take... well, let's take the neck. And then we will actually equip it. Alright, we can fight Ember Wargs just basically anywhere right outside of town. So, mounting up there, completely pointless. Basically, this seems to be like a kill all the wildlife around quest and then find places to click things on the ground. Maybe we should find the click things on the ground and see if there's any overlap. Uh, no, the click things on the ground is way up here, uh, and it doesn't really directly overlap with either of the kill collection quests. So we will just do that one separately. But yeah, wherever we go in the next playthrough, we kind we have to be done with places like this. We gotta be done with the Badlands and the Burning Steps and the Searing Gorges of the world, okay? We have to head on. I'm hoping that in the Desolus we'll see some kind of greenery, but that's kind of what makes me wary about Desolus at all. It's like, yeah, part of it's gonna be revitalized, right? But part of it's probably gonna still be moon-esque, lunar surface adjacent. Well, that was the first item that we got from any of the Scorpids, which for a drop rate in retail is pretty amazingly bad. And I like it. The Ember Wargs, on the other hand, are dropping uh, quite a bit.
Yeah, there's probably other areas that, uh, that we could head to. We could head over here up into the hills, it looks like. Uh, if we wanted to find more of these guys. Looks like we've kind of farmed this little area out, so moving over there might not be a bad idea. Well, then again, we, we might have respawns coming our way. Which would be ideal to traveling, that's true. Yeah, we've got a couple of these guys well outside of their marked areas. Which does happen from time to time. Okay, we don't need any more wargs, now we are just on the lookout for scorpids. Not exactly where I wanted to put that. We have a buddy. We would have let you live. Uh, Lunk would appreciate it. But you attacked us, so uh, you're dead now. Five out of five, let's go turn these in. Actually, let's not turn them in. Instead of turning them in, let's head to the north and get our nine obsidian flecked mud, and then we will turn them all in together. Okay, yeah, I guess it was going to be very unlikely that we would get away without fighting anything. I didn't really need to pull three enemies on our first pull, but, you know, we did, so. Now we just have to deal with it. Not like that's going to be incredibly difficult to do. Apparently. This little dragon whelpling battle pet thing has been very helpful and I have enjoyed having it.
Okay, that's three quests completed. Let's see if this completes a story chapter, or maybe it's going to lead into a follow-up. Looks like we got an epic upgrade on a weapon out of that one. Let's see, Colonel Troatman is waiting for us to the east. Before we head out, though, we need to gather some more stuff. This time you'll be taking it from a warlock by the name of Gorziki Wild Eyes. Okay, gathering more stuff, indeed. Let's see, the weapon is a one-handed mace. We will go ahead and do this, and then we will do this. And there we go. Did we get anything else? We got a ring we might be able to upgrade. The level 33 would probably be a good idea to replace that. And I believe that is it. Let's see, obtain a handful of slumber sand, a jug of fell, slider cider, and a clear glass orb. Okay. And shadow boxing, slay near gosh the shadow. So the Warlocks are going to have a small chance to drop the Glass Orb. We'll try to get that first, and then we'll look at where we're getting the other items. Oh, look at these guys. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There are some statues here, similar to the ones that we see outside of the Black Portal. And I've never actually been to this altar in-game. I've seen screenshots of it. Uh, but yeah, that's actually really cool. Wish I could get a better view of it. That might be as good as it gets. Alright, and we're going up here anyway because, well, the named guy is up here because where else would the lead warlock be in a place like this? Very cool. Looks like we have a buddy back here. Uh, he has quite a bit of health, actually. <laughs> He doesn't seem to be able to deal a ton of damage to us, but he does have a lot of health. It's a little dicey there for a moment. A little bit dicey with all the spell damage coming in. This is a cool little area too. We've had a lot of cool little set piece areas in some of these zones. 
and I have appreciated seeing some stuff that I have never seen before in retail or in classic. And now we need to take the supplies back to John. I'm assuming at some point we're going to be sent out over to Morgan's Vigil. I'd be interested to see how that area has changed. What can I do? We're headed to Chisel Grip, right in the center of the steps. We'll rendezvous with Thorium Brotherhood there, as well as with Trotman. Are you familiar with the Brotherhood? Those Dark Iron Dwarves have helped me out more than once. We may need their help again. We'll pass through the Black Tooth Hovel on our way there. What do you say we kill a few orcs while we travel? Yeah, nothing like a little casual murder to get the blood flowing, you know, just keep a healthy disposition about life. Just, yeah, sure, let's go murder stuff. It's fine. It's totally fine. Is he gonna? Is he gonna have just random Rambo and Sylvester Stallone quotes uh, to throw out at us? Slightly altered, of course. So while we quest here, is that what's gonna happen? Because that's why I haven't been reading any of his quests. Is I, I kind of hate the inclusion of this character into this game. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, when I was a, a young lad, I loved me some Rambo movies. But it doesn't really mean I like to see them parodied in the game that I'm playing. You know, for immersion reasons. <laughs> I don't enjoy things that are like references because it breaks my immersion in the game world that I'm in. And like, not everybody cares about that. Some people care about funny hahas more than they give a crap about immersion and that's totally fine. Uh, they are free to read all these quests and enjoy them, but... I think it's immersion breaking and I don't really care for it. I never have. Even though I will watch will watch me a Rambo marathon on TBS. Okay, like don't get me wrong. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the Rambo movies. I just don't like the parody of them that exists through this character in this game. Or any parody of any real life outside entertainment book, movie, etc. I feel like he was like, let's go kill orcs, uh, but for true, we have killed many more orgers than anything else. Here's an orc. Let's, let's fight some orcs. That's what we came here to do. Oh, you're still in threat, are you? Of course you are. Of course you're taking threat off me. That way it's more fun, because then I get to chase the enemies down. Damn these orcs, he says, as we kill yet another ogre. See you in hell, okay. What else do we got? I want to stop killing them, but we haven't stopped pulling enough to like get on my mount and get out of here. Here we go. There we go. We finally did it. We got on the mount. And now let's... uh rendezvous with some folks here, I suppose. Great to meet you. Off with you. 
prove your allegiance. You're welcome to stay in Chisel Grip for a time, but I need to know that you're f that you're a friend. So I've got a task for you: kill ten Dark Iron Dwarves, kill some of my own kind that I don't particularly agree with. Scrapped golems, kill war reavers in the ruins of Thorissian, then loot three obsidian pistons, three flux exhaust sleeves. Jeez, okay. Kill the golems and loot stuff. Got it. It's funny that we're like taking this zone in reverse order, kind of, than how you come into it in Classic, where you start at Morgan's Vigil and then you come up here and grab some quests. It's kind of interesting to me. Uh, what is this? Oh, you, you came and posted up over here, but you have more for us to do. Uh, a needle in a hellhole. Uh, speak with Thelon, Theleron Dire Needle. Okay. Uh, like, wait, they're right here? They could hear us from where we were. Hi. Bring the appropriate amount of supplies from the tailoring table to Theleron. Uh. Okay. We're going to take all the hides, and all the mud, and all the thread. No? Was that, was that not what we were supposed to do? You have gathered supplies. Bring them. Okay. I brought you some supplies. You have brought me way too much. Warg hide. Okay, what are we going to do here? By judging your weight, build, and size, we're going to dress you as an orc. Do you know much about tailoring? Consider this my f your first lesson. I, I, am I supposed to just be guessing this? He said we brought him too much warg hide. Uh, so let's do two hides, all the mud, all the thread. Everything else looks good, but there's too much thread, okay. We can do this. Hold on. Let's... Investigate the hides. Two hides. All the mud. Three spools of thread. What can I do for you? Still too much thread. Okay, we got this. Two. Four. And two. This is perfect. She'll be my masterpiece. Uh, let's see. Speak with the quartermaster, Kaoshin, at the Black Tooth Hovel in the Burning Steps. Don't forget to put on that disguise. Is this something that we have to do? Oh, jeez. Okay. Hold on. Yes, this, this is, uh, wow, just pretty amazing. You're lucky I'm short-handed today, otherwise I'd make you my personal whipping girl for the week. Wow, okay then. I, I won't make any comments about Blizzard corporate culture here. We'll pass. Hard pass. Uh, strategic cuts. Use the razor sharp scorpid barb on voodooist Timon atop the pillar of ash. So many words. Just, you know what? At this point, just give me the, the mark on the mini map. And uh, we'll try to, we'll try just to figure it out from there. What are we doing here? Uh, Voodoo Timon slain. Okay. Okay. How do we. Okay, let's go up here. Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, don't mind us. We just have a cardboard cutout face on. It's totally legit, right? I'm assuming we're going to the very top of this thing. Okay. And we're gonna, like, literally murder him by stabbing him in the back and pushing him off a tower. And he hexed us. He hexed us, but I think he's dead, so... Pairs of black rock boots polished. Okay, so... While we're doing this... 
how exactly are we polishing boots? Maybe we're just... You cannot do that yet, you are mounted. Okay, we cannot do that yet. Uh, that's a little bit weird. The officers and high-ranking soldiers need their boots polished. Hmm. Well, okay then. Uh, I'd really love for this guy to stop somewhere. Oh, okay, good. Perfect. Nailed it. Still don't really understand how we're supposed to polish anybody's anything. The officers and high-ranking soldiers. Uh, you're a shaman. I'm assuming that if you're just like a basic guy that we're not, we're not interested. Okay, that's done. Oh, good. Oh, that's like incredibly gruesome. Great. Oh, look, the boots are on the ground. Perfect. Uh, but yeah, awful. Really, really awful. All right. Well, now we know what we're looking for when it comes to boots. Now I can, of course, see them glowing as bright as day. A boot spider. That's a pretty... Now, if you got boot spiders that look like that, uh, you should be shaking your boots out. And you should never be leaving them open like this. What you want to do is you want to, you know, put them on some kind of rack or something. Don't don't put them on the ground opened up like this. Um, you might investigate, like, accessories just to plug your boot holes up, okay? Because this is serious here. You don't want anything to happen to your feet when you have to just pace back and forth like this all day, okay? Nothing like a big old lava spider bite to ruin your day. Okay, two more pairs of boots. Why are they leaving their boots all over the place? Like, are they out there barefoot right now? I don't know. There are no answers for these questions. I will turn this in and then we will head up here to the northeast. Assuming this guy doesn't have more stuff for us to do, which I guess he very well could. Yeah, let's see. The Kodo Caller's Horn. Alright, I've got some actual, legitimate, important work for you. We've got to call the Kodos in from the grazing lands to the north. Even the south. General Thorg says we'll be moving out into Red Ridge soon, and I won't be caught with my Kodos down. Use this horn near a Kodo. It will return to the camp when it hears the call. Oh, joy. Another herding quest. We had a lot of luck when we had to herd the spiders back to the sawmill. Uh, that was excruciating. <laughs> so maybe this will be a little different. Oh good, look, see that's how it should work. We should click them, we should click the thing. In the spider herding quest we had to scare them and then they, they picked a direction and ran in it basically. And we had to try to... Oh, some of you are not going to be too happy about that. Well that's sad, I didn't really want to kill any Kodos today. The other sad thing is the incredibly little amount of damage that we're actually dealing to this thing. Okay, good. We don't have to kill its whole health bar because that was, uh, that was getting to be kind of, uh, interesting. Whoops.
Taking the horn for ourselves, I want you to hold on to that horn. I'm sure we can improvise and find a way to work it into the plan. I'm more than a little concerned about what Korashin said about attacking Redridge. We knew another attack was imminent, but our timetables were off by several days. I am worried about those poor level 15 NPCs in Red Ridge, uh, which is like right down here. Probably a little bit too close to one of the um, more higher level areas of the game. Can we get rid of the mask now or do we still need it? I guess we should just keep it on for now. See what that helmet looks like later, I guess. Uh, and now we need 10 Thurisian dwarfs slain and all those parts from the random war golems. It doesn't mark the War Reavers. Let's let's kill one and see what happens. I'm not getting anything in the tooltip about it being associated with the quest, so it's probably just an error. Okay, well that one didn't in fact drop anything. Let's Kill theirs, then look for any parts that fall on the ground. Oh, okay, yeah, reading is sometimes actually important. We could have waited and just maybe we would have seen these little parts, but reading helps. Uh, sev oh, we get to salvage what we want. Okay, that's good. We'll have a couple of choices, it seems like. And no, we can't dodge this. <laughs> I know it seems like you might say to yourself, Robert, why are you standing in the fire jets? Uh, because we don't have a choice. He, d he died, and it, it finished the flame jet. That was actually just kind of funny looking. Uh, this guy is a rare spawn, so we're definitely going to take him out. Yeah, unfortunately he didn't drop any parts for the quest. I guess he wouldn't, right? He's a rare, so... Uh, but not only that, but he didn't really drop any good loot. What did he drop? He dropped some cloth boots. Okay. Let's take the Obsidian Piston, we don't have one of those yet, and let's take the, well, let's finish off the Obsidian Piston then. Oh no, not finish off, we need three of those, okay. Perfect.
I'm, I'm really wondering if we can just remove that. There we go. We're fine. It's, it's, the black rock disguise has fallen off. Oh no, whatever will we do? I don't think we need it for these quests, so. Okay, this will be the last obsidian piston. And we haven't got a stone power core yet. Hmm. Uh, let's just go kill this guy because he's a rare and I've never seen him before and he's a giant imp thing and that looks pretty cool. Oh god, he's... He is kind of freaky looking, honestly, uh, for his size and his characteristics. Kind of a creepy looking mob. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. Okay, we're done with the Flux Exhaust Sleeve now as well. We do need to work on taking out some of these Thurisan guys. I don't know if it's never, if it's ever not going to amuse me when they die while casting the flame breath because it just looks funny every time it happens. Uh, we want the thorium gear shaft. Okay, we might have gone a little too far. Let's just come back over this way where we can still get to the War Reavers and we can find our Dark Iron Dwarves over here as well. Okay, now all we need is the power core. I, I'm assuming it's still going to drop off of these guys, but we haven't seen one yet. Well, we do need to turn Battle Shout back on. That could help us out a little bit. Okay, huh, interesting, interesting, um, hmm, I guess we'll kill a few more and see if they will pleasantly drop it for us. Uh, I, I don't think we get it through any other means, do we? Should I read the quest again? No, it says they all come from the War Reavers, so... Shouldn't really be a problem.
Of course you can join the party. Hey guys, the more the merrier. Just come on over, okay? Yep. Yeah, this doesn't look very promising, does it? I saw this in my periphery, and I realized that it's probably one of the most disturbing things that I've seen in this game. I, I don't know why. But yeah, that's... That's nightmare fuel! Those people were like, blast incinerated. Okay, uh, well... We have a problem. And the problem is in the size and shape of one stone power core that we can't seem to find. Oh my gosh, I am so confused. <laughs> we could use some spare parts for our own golems. Kill theirs, then look for any parts that might have fallen on the ground. Salvage what ye can. Okay. Kill war reavers. Then loot three pistons, three exhaust sleeves, three thorium gear shafts, and one power core. So, I mean... Why is this, why is this not dropping? Ah, oh, God, I don't want to kill these anymore. How long do I kill these before I decide this is bugged? And when I decide this is bugged, is this going to completely stop us from doing anything else in the zone? Because that would be unfortunate. But I feel like this is taking way too long. Look at that. I see you gotta complain. You gotta complain about it just enough. And then you get the item. Whew, okay, yeah, that, that was a little bit too many war reavers, but it's fine. I'd expect that out of a classic quest. Don't really expect that mentally out of a retail quest. Golem training. You're proven to be a pretty big help around here, human. I was thinking you could help with just one more thing. Our guards are strong, but they're not as strong as you are. I was thinking maybe you wouldn't mind training with some of them. Okay, just go and talk to one and fight. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. He's, he's not done, apparently. We have to fight him twice. Uh, 
Okay, so we have to train four of them, but are we gonna have to fight each of them four times? Because I'd rather fight 12 of them once. Okay, yeah, looks like we're gonna have to fight each one of them multiple times. Hmm. Training is sufficient, okay. Can we do both of these at once? Oh, that would be amazing! That way, while one is rebooting, we can actually be doing something. It could work against us, though. Could it could it could very well get us killed if we're not careful. Did we get it? Oh, we got it. It was close. It was close, but we got it. See, that was good. There's a little bit of challenge there, activating them both at the same time. Uh, we have no way to heal right now, really, but that's fine. We'll just endure the red flashing of our screen. Uh, wow, our inventory is full. Jeez. Okay, okay. Uh, well... Okay, there we go. Problem solved. Well then, for the alliance, need help. Ah, uh, let's see. We're going over to talk to General Thorg Izog. Are we gonna need our? Are we gonna need our disguise? Yeah, we better. We better just pop our disguise on. This is pretty close to the Black Rock Temple. I wanna. He has an orcish name. So, yeah, I want to make sure that we are not just going to get killed by a bunch of uh, enemies here that we could avoid. Yeah, I think the disguise here was a good idea. Something tells me it was a good idea. Hmm, okay. I suppose I'll make the most of this situation. These goblin mercenaries brought this enormous fire elemental to my stronghold as a thank you for hiring them. What am I supposed to do with an elemental here in the steps? That's like bringing sand to the beach. If you're still looking for work, then prove yourself. Talk to this goblin here and challenge his elemental to a fight. Yabu. 
Uh, oh, uh, okay, yeah, sure, we, we can kill this elemental. I, I like the goblin-style, like, proton blasters that they have. Interesting. Okay, which goblin is it that we're talking to? Here we go. Can I get a charge off here, or... No, not really. Not really at all. I've been looking for a good, strong soldier like you. I need someone to keep my troops in line. Outside the stronghold, you will find orcs, ogres, and trolls preparing for the assault on Red Ridge. My sergeants keep them in line, but I'd like you to assist them. Ah, uh, and let's see. It sounds like you have earned Thorgog's trust, and he's assigned you to discipline duty. This is fortunate. We need you to take out his sergeants. You'll find them on Wolfback outside the Blackrock stronghold. Okay. Minions cudgel. Do we just like cudgel any minion? You're a minion. You've been spotted. Club your target to death before you are unmasked. Oh no, dear lord. Oh no! Guys, uh, I think we're dead. Oh shit. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was unexpected and unfortunate. But well deserved. Uh, how are we gonna how are we gonna swing this exactly? Oh, we we found a clear spot. Let's let's mask up. Oh, we're masked up already. Okay. No, we're not. No, we're not. There we go. Now we are. Okay. So the warg riders, uh, if we don't slap the crap out of them, they will they will reveal us pretty much instantly. Let's grab these guys on the outskirts for the twenty that we need. Okay. You look like you need a good clubbing. Uh, club your target. Are you kidding me? So we <laughs> we can, we have to uh, uh, keep keep clubbing them to death. Okay, now we know. And this is why we go after the ones on the outskirts. Uh, I was clubbing him. It didn't seem to be doing the type of damage that the club was doing to the to the other officer. Hmm. We just weren't diligent enough. That's all. This can this can work. Oh, we get a, we get a ticker on the quest for every time we club them. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, how do I how do I kill you in front of all your people and act like that's okay? Let's find out. Okay. Apparently, they could care less.
Okay, perfect. We're done here. Let's get out of here and fly back to our friends. Maybe we're done with the mask now? I, I kind of hope that we are. I have had a fine time infiltrating, but now I'd like to remove the mask. Our work here in Chisel Grip is done, mostly thanks to you. We'll now be moving on to the east to Morgan's Vigil. Our intel indicates that Morgan's Vigil has been vacated, as most of its inhabitants have moved into Blackrock Mountain to fight their own battle against the Blackrocks. It should serve as sufficient base of operations for the final stages of our plan. Okay, that that's good. Uh, I see that you guys aren't actually leaving though. I, I guess you will just be teleporting over then. Fair play. Yeah, so we're two out of four chapters done. Uh, we missed Annihilation. If, we're, if they're done in any sort of order, we missed Annihilation, but... As we sometimes learn, they're not always done or told in the order that they're listed. I don't know why. You would think that they would kind of figure out the, the way that you would progress through the zone and then they would they would order them in the order of the progression, but that doesn't always seem to happen. And maybe there are some variables or some things that we could do differently that make ordering them impossible. I don't know. Seven, yep. Gather seven flame flies. In classic, there's a quest called 50. Yep, 50. I wonder if that's referencing that quest. Okay. Uh, blackened ashes, obtain 9 piles of obsidian ash. Obtain 18 fallen flamekin. And use the warg saw on the bodies of slain giant ember wargs to obtain 40 warg cutlets. Okay, can we prepare our meat back at base, please? Do we have to prepare our cutlets out in the field with a chainsaw? Is that is that strictly necessary? Black Rock Anomaly, I, I think this is a dungeon quest. Pretty sure. And yeah, adventure wa Adventures Wanted, Black Rock Depths. Uh, not going to be doing any of the dungeon stuff, I don't think. Let's go out here and... Well, let's just, let's just chainsaw up a bunch of wargs. I can't think of a better quest to end it on than to literally have to chainsaw wargs out in the wilderness. Okay, at least it's not, like, too incredibly graphic. It's fine. It's not disturbing in any way. The, the concept is disturbing, but...
I mean, I think it's kind of fitting if this is our last quest for this character to get us to 50, because we, we started off killing uh, wolves in Elwyn Forest, and we are going to finish fighting wargs in the uh, Burning Steps. So, yeah, it's... Look how far we've come. From killing small gray wolves to larger orange wolves. Hmm. Hey, we got uh, exploring the burning steps right there for some reason. Okay, that's that's good. Perfect. Kind of a weird moment to get an achievement. Well, uh, I'd say let's go turn this one in. Uh, if we can, and see. Uh, we might need just a little bit more experience. It's going to be close. What can I do for you? Be careful. Yeah, it was close. It just wasn't quite enough. Okay, okay. What do we want to do here? 18 Fallen Flamekin or 7 Flame Flies. Let's, let's go investigate the Flame Flies. And we'll try to figure out what's going to be our most expedient path here. Uh, I'm not getting pings for any of these guys, so we are going to skip over them. Uh, we're circling something here. I'm just... I have no idea what the hell it is that we're looking for. Oh, it's seven yup, like seven up. I get it now. I get the reference now, guys. It's a soda reference. Okay. Wherever you find lava, okay, like this circling this whole area, but there's no lava here. All right, let's let's go here. Oh, I see, I see the flame flies now. Yeah, I do see them. This is probably going to be more straightforward. Seeing as how all we have to do is spam Whirlwind. And then uh, click some stuff. The clicking the things on the ground and finding them is like the harder part. Okay, I think we got them all. 
Of course you guys are casters. <laughs> Come on. Okay, this, this should definitely do it. I, I'm confident that turning this in will get us to level level 50, guys. And once we hit level 50, that's going to be the end of the playthrough on this character, as we have discussed many, many times. Next, I think I'm leaning towards a Forsaken Mage for the next playthrough. I, I was thinking about a Warlock. Kind of like back and forth between Warlock and Mage, but I, I think I'd rather go without a pet. So I think it'll just be a little bit smoother, a little bit faster without having to really worry about the pet. So yeah, I, I think Mage is what we're going to do. We're going to start off as a Forsaken. We're going to do their introductory area. And then we will decide where we want to go after that. Oh no! <laughs> we're short! Well, that's embarrassing. Once... You know, shame on you. Twice, shame on me. That's the second time I said we were going to level that we didn't. Let's come down the hill. And we will fight a couple of brown giant wolves here for our last encounters. And hopefully that will be enough to ding us. There we go. Okay. The future of Azeroth needs us to... to protected. You can see up here that they are forcibly removing us from this content. Uh, even if I wanted to hang out here and say, you know, do something really silly, like complete the story chapters, you know, see the plot play out. If I wanted to do anything really silly like that as a new player, I, I wouldn't be allowed to. Uncle Blizzard says that in 30 seconds, uh, we are going to be teleported out of time walking. Now, keep in mind, this isn't really so much time walking, really, as it is just us going to the zones in the world. All the time walking campaign did was allow us to level up in them past level 30. So it's really interesting that they've kept this in place. I wish they would remove this. I think giving you the quest over and over and over and over again is enough for people who want to do that content to figure out. Take care of yourself out there. We were. We were doing just fine. Thank you. Oh, gosh. <sighs> well... Here we are. And then we get allied quests. Pop up. Yeah, so oh, that's that's how they do it. This is how they do it. Uh, what? What preparations? Oh, okay. And that's how they do it, guys. Once you hit 50, you're teleported right here. We are not going to proceed past this. It has been an interesting time. An interesting time here in uh, our playthrough. I'm really looking forward to seeing... Firstly, I'm really looking forward to turning the music down. There we go. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what parts of Azeroth we can explore on our Horde side. Desolus is definitely on the table. So let me know, give me your thoughts and opinions about some zones that are interesting, either visually or maybe they have a decent story or interesting characters from the lore. Let me know, guys, and we will see what we can do on a Forsaken Mage. Until next time, thank you guys so much for being here. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth really soon. Bye now.